All right, Colton, we're here at the Golf Lab. It's May 18th, and we're just taking a look at uh, at the driver in particular. In your last tournament there, we were losing a couple balls off to the left, so we just want to identify where that's coming from and try and make the fix. So this is one of the first driver swings we had here on the left, and what we took a look at is how uh, the takeaway looks great right on plane, and then it gets coming back in here a little bit under plane, and leads us to a position at the top where we're low across the line with a shut club face. Now when that club comes back under plane nine times out of ten we're going to see that momentum carried across the line here and then carry the club down over plane on approach. So you can see right here this is where we're either going to hit it left if we have a square or shut club face or we're going to hold it off, leave the face open, try and time a fade down the middle. All we worked on over here on the right hand side was keeping that club up on plane throughout the entire backswing. So without changing anything else you can see as this club tracks on plane longer throughout the backswing the momentum is going to carry it to a little better position here at the top where we're not quite as much across the line and the club face isn't as shut. From this position it's going to be much easier to root the club down on plane through to impact. This is one of the most common causes we see for an over-the-top swing. It's taking it back inside, getting across the line and stuck, and momentum will carry it from the outside every time. So just keep on working on having that takeaway track the club up on plane throughout the entire backswing.